All right, we are announcing the giveaway winner of the Texas Rig Box in this video. We're also gonna break down a new partner to the channel, some baits and lures I've been using for a while now, but we made it official. And then we're also gonna talk about the next giveaway, the second box. Stay tuned, it's gonna be a fun video. Oh, oh, oh. it's not a three, it's a monster of a fish. Yeah, I think I could. Good fish right there. Alright guys, welcome back to the channel, Fishing the Lone Star. My name is Jeremy. If you're I was gonna say if you're new. If you're not new, you know the drill. If you are new, hit the subscribe button. We'll love for you to stick and stay. Uh quite honestly, guys, like I I'm just a guy who fishes on the weekends. Uh, hopefully I'm super relatable to you guys. Uh, a lot of people think that I get out and like fish like every day. Uh, I wish that was the case. Uh, I fish maybe one day a week and that one day a week is usually for like four to five hours. Every now and then I can stretch it to six, but usually between family life, doing stuff on the weekends with the kids, ball games, etc. That's just all the time I have to fish. So I have to be as efficient as I can on the water. Uh, it's kind of like a no fluff scenario. I don't really get out and waste a lot of time. Uh, I use a bunch of baits and lures that I know that work. And I try to share them with you guys because I have a feeling that most of you are probably the same, uh, no pun intended, in the same boat as I am, where you're also fishing likely just on the weekend. So hopefully that makes us relatable. But I just want you to know that, uh, you know, I've been, I've been blessed, quite honestly, to even get this channel to almost 3,000 subs. So for you, those of you that have subs, thank you so much. That's pretty darn cool to see. Uh, but I just want to, I don't know, just quite, quite honestly, just say that really quickly. Just say thank you. We're approaching 3,000 subs. The more you can share, the better to help me get there. That'd be awesome. Now, let's talk about what probably some of you came for. Multiple topics we're going to cover. I'll get to them pretty quickly. The first one is the Texas Rig Monster Bass Regional Pro Box. I say Texas rig because it was a Texas rig technique that was featured in this box. We're giving it away, all right? And Rob Gerbala, I, I'm hoping I'm saying that name correctly. Rob Gerbala, you actually won the drawing. I'll show it here on the screen. Uh, not only did you win the random comment picker, but I ran it twice just to just in case there was a backup winner needed, and you actually won the second time as well, which. I've never seen that happen. And then I did uh, roll it a third time just to be safe and fish in the Southeast. Uh, you were the backup to the backup, which I guess is just the backup period since Rob was selected twice. Anyways, Rob, uh, hit me up on Facebook or on Instagram. I'll, I'll reply to your comment as well. Uh, I'll get your address and get this box shipped out to you. All right, that's giveaway number one. That's behind us now. Let's talk about the content in this video and the next giveaway, I told you there's going to be multiple in one week. Maybe, maybe it may not be exactly seven days, maybe like eight or nine days. But however, we're going to give three of them away. This is the first one. The next one's going to be the Lunker Hunt box. And then in a, maybe just a couple of days, we're then going to give away the Z-Man box. It sounded like from the last video, almost everyone said that either the March box or the Z-Man box was probably the favorite of the three. Uh, but don't sleep on that Lunker Hunt box. There's some pretty uh, pretty cool lures in there. Also some unique ones. I mean, Lunker Hunt is known for making some pretty unique stuff. Uh, they're in there as well. Um, but let's dive in to this topic of this video. <clears throat> I want to show you some baits and lures of a company that I recently partnered with. Uh, I've been using them for a while now. So I'm going to show you some video as well of some awesome uh, fish catches I've had on their lures. Um, just, to, just to show how legitimate they are. And then, uh, then we'll talk about the Lunker Hunt box. Uh, I don't know if I want to go through everything that's in it because that just may take a long time. I'll just say that it's the Lunker Hunt unboxing. So if you go back and watch the unboxing video on the channel of the Lunker Hunt box, I'm pretty sure it's all those lures plus even more because uh, I added more Lunker Hunt stuff to it. So the next, the next one, the giveaway for this video is going to be pretty darn awesome. So all right, I'm going to put this box down and then we're going to dig into the new partner. All right, over the years, hopefully there's not a glare on this glass, but over the years, I have become a fan of jigs, mainly three types of jigs. Uh, in this box, there's half of these are bladed jigs, the other half are swim jigs. 
And then in this box is pretty much all like either finesse jigs or your standard like flipping um, or, or archy style jigs, etc. But mainly flipping jigs are in this box. Now I don't throw. Let me let me rephrase that. Past tense. I've not thrown a lot of flipping jigs. I mainly throw Texas rigs, swim jigs, etc. Um, which is why my swim jig box is like packed. There are no more <laughs> spots in this box. Um, but one of the jigs or swim jigs that I always throw, let me set these down. But one of them that I always throw is the Pulse Swim Jig by VNM. V is in Victor, M is in Michael. I actually don't even know if that's what the VNM stands for, but by VNM, all right. And uh, this is their, their Pulse Swim Jig in a quarter ounce. Here it is in watermelon red. This color is Magic Crawl. Um, and just so you kind of see, I'm gonna go fishing this weekend and I've already got another one tied on. Uh, that is the Pulse Swim Jig there with the Swammer trailer. Um, I am ready to go. This is my favorite swim jig. But let me actually tell you why. All right, I, I realize there's a ton of swim jigs on the market. I actually have quite a few of them in my boat. Strike King makes a good swim jig. Obviously, uh, v and I think makes a really good swim jig. Uh, Flirt Skirt Fishing, they make custom swim jigs or just jigs in general, but they make a really good one. Uh, I've got a ton of replacement skirts from Flirt Skirt Fishing. One thing that I've found though, for me personally, when I'm throwing a swim jig, I'm normally throwing it in shallow cover uh, where there's grass or and or timber. Uh, and when I say shallow, I mean anywhere from like a couple, of, I shouldn't say inches of water, but basically a foot of water to three to five foot of water is normally where I'm throwing a swim jig. What's important when you're throwing a swim jig that shallow is that the skirt material flares up as that, uh, that uh, swim jig is coming through the water. If the skirt material is really dense or really thick or heavy, it's just gonna like, kind of look like a blob coming through the water. Now the, the tail of whatever your trailer is, whether it's something like a paddle tail or uh, something like a crawl type, which I'll get back to that, uh, that particular trailer in a second, um, that'll still kick as you're pulling through the water, but I'm telling you the skirt material matters a lot. All right, so that's the first thing that matters when you're picking out a swim jig is skirt material. You really don't know that until you just get them and you try them and you're like, man, those look like crap in the water or those look really good in the water. The V&M swim jigs look really good in the water. There's been at least two, if not three different occasions when people are on my boat fishing with me. They don't know that I'm throwing a swim jig and as I'm reeling it to the boat, they look down and they're like, oh my gosh, look, there's a small bait fish coming towards the boat. And I'm like, it's funny you think that it looks that real because it's my swim jig. Um, so the skirt material matters. One thing that also matters is the head, the head design. Look at the head design on this swim jig. See how it's kind of uh, V-shaped on the bottom? That's actually gonna allow it to roll over or through a lot of different grass, laydowns, timber, rocks, etc. Uh, this one's actually pretty scratched up a little bit on the bottom. But as much as I've put this, this individual swim jig through, this is probably the very first one that I purchased full price from b &M, the eyes have never come off. You see the eyes on there? So the head design is pretty awesome and the quality is great as well, all right? One other thing that I will say is look at the hook. Look how stout and thick that hook is. It is very stout and there's a very good weed guard too. The weed guard is not too stiff, all right? I'm running my finger over it. It's not too stiff, but it's not too flimsy or light either that you're gonna get this thing hung up. Um, but this particular color, Magic Crawl, paired with that sexy Shad Swimmer, looks incredible in clear bodies of water. Um, if you can't tell already, I'm a big fan of swim jigs. So to partner with v &M, who makes the Pulse Swim Jig, I'm pumped about. The very last thing I'll tell you about the Swim Jig, and then I'll kind of move on to a couple of their lures of theirs, um, is in one quarter ounce, all right? Um, another company that makes a good Swim Jig, that people tell me a lot about is Six Sense, all right? The only thing I would say that I don't like about Six Sense, one, I think their skirt material is too dense. It does not flare up very well in the water. Doesn't mean you're not gonna catch fish with it. I just think this skirt material is better. Two is, if, uh, if, if you're looking for a quarter ounce, which again is what I like to throw up shallow, 
Six Sense does not have a very good selection of quarter ounce colors. But mark my words, go to VM's website. I'll link them below. Uh, I don't have like a coupon code or a discount or anything else. Uh, I'm, I'm not like making money off you buying uh, their their stuff, all right? I'm just using it because I'm a fan. I've, I've been a customer for a while now, um, and I'm, I'm happy to be able to say that I'm partnering with them to promote them more. Um, but that being said, click the link below. It's not gonna give me any credit. Just go look for yourself, and you'll see the Pulse Slim Jig, the colors and the quarter ounce or three eighth ounce or even one half ounce they have a tremendous amount of colors and that matters a lot to me, all right? That matters a lot to me. So anyways, I'm not gonna reiterate all that stuff. That's all, all the reasons why I think their swim jigs are pretty fantastic. You're probably like, all right, enough about swim jigs. I'll talk about their flipping jigs now. All right, I'm not gonna go into too much detail about the flipping jig other than really a couple of things. One is I love the head design. I love how it's a little narrow, but it's not necessarily so tall that it's gonna cause the, the swim jig, I'm sorry, not the swim jig, the flipping jig to roll over in the fish's mouth, all right? So it's narrow, but not too narrow. What I also like is, look at the clearance between the front tie and the back hook, all right? I mean, you've got that much room for this back hook to catch the fish's mouth, and look how stout that is. Let me show you, let me show you this hook compared to the swim jig. All right, the swim jig has a stout hook. This flipping jig, the HD heavy duty flipping jig uh, is, is incredible. That hook is incredible. So the slim jig has a great hook. The flipping jig has an even better hook and the head design is great. Uh, I really like the weed guard. And let me show you how the colors match up with egg zone. All right. Uh, you know, I use a lot of egg zone plastics. I love egg zone. Let me show you how some of these colors match up. All right, so take a look here at just these three. Now, these are just three that I've picked up out of my tackle box, um, but I've got uh, two adrenaline crawls and one adrenaline bug from Egg Zone paired up here with some of the colors that are offered by VM. And I've just been super impressed with the colors they offer along with the plastics that I use and the way I can mix and match these. Um, I, I just, I feel super confident and matching the hatch with the colors they have. And, and then again, just the hook quality is incredible. So again, these are pretty stellar. Uh, I, I would argue there's not gonna be many better jigs you're gonna find, whether it be skirt material, color material, design, quality, etc. of the baits. They're fantastic. Last thing I wanna do is wrap up talking about one of the plastics that I picked up as well from B&M. It was new to me, but I like it so far. Let me show you that. All right, so I've never used these before, but I saw them on their website and I thought, you know what? I've got to try the VM J Bug. All right, check out the design of, uh, of this little plastic here. You've got curly arms and two twin tails on the bottom. Uh, I'll hold it in a little bit of different spots so you can see it, and a ribbed body to kind of display some water. All right, now this is gonna make for a great trailer to jigs. It's gonna make for a great uh, Carolina rig trailer uh, or just a Carolina rig bait. And it's also gonna be great on a Texas rig, but I am super pumped to throw this. Uh, the three colors I picked up, uh, this one's just a green pumpkin, uh, like a blue flake. The other one is a black and red flake. I'll show you that one in a second. And then the other one was a black and blue. So I picked up three colors of the, uh, of the uh, J-Bug by VM, So you're gonna see me throwing this a little bit more. You're gonna see me throwing those jigs and you're also gonna see me throwing even more of the swim jigs. Now, that black and red goes really well with that watermelon red. I took this out the very first day I tied this on or put this together at a local pond here in my neighborhood and caught almost a four pounder, probably three and a half to four pound uh, awesome bass. This looks great in the water. The, the, the red flake uh, stands out really well on sunnier days. And the fact that it's kind of that watermelon red with black tail, uh, is a black and red tail, gives a good contrasting color in the water to really make this lure stand out. Um, and these little legs right here, man, they kick a ton. So, uh, you know, I, I might have to probably do a, a, a little bit better job to figure out when I'm gonna throw this trailer versus the Slammer. Both are incredible. 
Um, so I'll keep you posted on kind of what I find is better to throw each one. If you guys have ideas, drop a comment below. That is not how you enter the giveaway though, all right? I'll, I'll give you uh, some details in a second of how to get enter the giveaway for the Lunker Hunt box. But man, these two trailers on Slim Jigs work incredibly well. Uh, and again, on the flipping baits, um, the flipping jigs, the main two trailers I'm gonna throw over here is going to be the Adrenaline Crawl and the Adrenaline Bug. But uh, man, those look good or what? It's fantastic. All right, so the giveaway for the Lunker Hunt box, I literally can barely even close this because I've stuffed it so tightly packed for you guys. Uh, you're getting way more than just what normally comes in the Monster Bass Regional Pro box. I added more in here. Uh, an awesome box from Lunker Hunt. Here's what I want to know from you. Drop me a comment below and just give me some feedback over on the channel. Like, tell me, tell me what you would like to see more of. Um, I try to focus on kind of three things, gear and tackle reviews, like rods, reels, etc., things like that, or stuff on the boat uh, that I've added. Uh, so gear and tackle reviews, I try to do some, some unboxings, not just the Monster Bass stuff. Those are just easy ones for me to do because I get them on, on, a, on a cadence. Um, but even like, like the unboxing to the, you know, tonight, like showing you some new lures of a new partner, things like that. If you'd like to see more unboxing type stuff, um, or if you want to see just more on the water, like tips and how to videos, you know, I love doing those. Um, it just be really great to hear from you, which types of videos you like. So give me some feedback. Let me know those three. What do you want to see more unboxings, more gear and tackle or more fishing videos, like actually on the water tips and tricks. Let me know, give me some feedback. Happy to put out some content for you. And I appreciate you guys supporting the channel. This is just a small way to give back to you by giving you a couple of different options for giveaways. We just gave away the March Texas Rig box. We're now giving away the Lunker Hunt box. And in a few days we'll give away the Z-Man box. So stay tuned for that. I'm gonna give you probably the most technical video I've ever done before when we give away the Z-Man box, but it's gonna be about a different topic it's going to be very technical, probably going to geek out a little bit. Stay tuned for that. Oh, oh, and one more thing. Stay tuned as well because this past weekend, I lost the biggest fish of my life. I actually saw this fish three times. She surfaced and jumped twice, so I know how big this fish was. Uh, I lost her right at the boat, but then the very next day, caught the biggest fish of the year so far. So... A lot happened this, this weekend, a lot of emotions. I'm gonna break all that down. We're probably gonna do an actual on the water video for that, so stay tuned for that. Lots to come on the channel. Appreciate you guys. Please sub if you haven't. Like, comment, do all the things you know to do. Nobody told you today, God loves you, and so do I. Peace out.